information about eight siding, a spar, and what Bud calls the marvelous spar finishing machine. Uh, came out of the How to Build a Wooden Boat and Sam Manning's, Sam Manning's uh, bench information came out of the workbench book. And then don't forget the video on Off Center Harbor that's on YouTube. Thank you. Last time I didn't really show a drawing of the tool that we used for sanding. This is it here. All this is is a piece of pipe that's on some threaded rod. Nuts locked together here, washers locked together. More washers, wooden block, a wooden block, yeah. And a drill. And there's how Bud drew it, or, well, Sam Manning actually drew it, but uh, that's the one that Bud McIntosh, like he used. Okay. And this is how Bud described laying out a square piece of wood and marking it so that you could... Uh, take it down eight-sided and then we also had the marking gauge with uh, seven units ten units and seven units as you recall and in case you forgot that's the marking gauge you can make this any width of whatever your square piece of wood is that you're starting with and then divide it into 24 units put seven units to mark here with a pencil or scribe it like that seven units over here and ten in the middle and that'll give you your eight sides as you walk around the the box and mark them he went so far as to actually describe doing the 16 sided marking gauge but that was a little more complex and i wanted to do with a bunch of pencils in a four inch piece of wood. So after we did the eight sided, we just took down the, the center one with the planes and did some sanding. And then we started on with the belt sander. And this is how Sam Manning constructed the Manning bench. He actually used it outside it's this is a great tool if you don't have much room in your workshop or no workshop whatsoever it's heavy duty you can uh, he used it for uh strapping logs too he actually used a chain through that anvil there in the, the bottom part to strap on uh pieces of huge pieces of wood for larger boats but everything should be, when you build one of these, glue it and screw it together. And if you watch Jeff Kerr's uh, video on offcenterharbor.com or the YouTube, uh, the first description of it, um, that was on Off Center Harbor, YouTube. was the channel, yeah. Anyhow, I'll show you a few pictures of our Manning benches that were gifted to us by a friend of ours, Fred and Susan. Thanks, Fred and Susan. Okay, you've seen that we've got this here so we can take the, the mast up and down that we got it clamped on here. These benches are good for this. And then it goes all the way down to the other end. A lot of weight, stuff like that not a big problem but if you don't have much room in your workshop or like I said or no workshop these are great for working outdoors 
you can hold a lot of like planking or whatever and uh, there's some I'll show you a few of the ways that he clamps things on naturally you can use C clamps bar clamps like this or smaller to secure items to the bench uh, I drilled a hole in a couple of one in each end I may do some in the middle too just for bench dogs so you can drive them in you can use vice grip clamps whatever when you're doing planking uh, let's see Okay, when you're doing planking or need to plane the side of a board, you could do something like this. You could even, uh, you know, you could clamp some of the big clamps to the side of the, the bench and it'll hold the board securely so that you can uh, plane it. Um, it's quite the bench really. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of that. Okay, the legs on the bench are secured up into the bottom. This area coming to right here from the floor is right at about two foot, almost exactly. And then we've got another one foot area here. This part will come off. You could stack two of these together and then you'd have three benches that are two foot high. But uh, we have bolts in them to, so they're secure on there. The block going up and down there in the middle, that's the anvil. That holds it very secure. You can pound on that and it's not gonna give any. Uh, I didn't tighten that down, but as you can see, they, uh, finish the ends like this we got two two screws right in here holding in and down here it's not a complex device but it's very useful